Hey, Mom. What's up? I just got back from work, but it seems like nobody's home. Where is everyone? Oh, look who's back already, Claire. I thought you'd be out there slaving away at your pathetic job, working yourself to the bone, pulling overtime because you're just that desperate to prove your worth. Ha ha! Well, I suppose it's just the usual for someone like you. I wasn't feeling sick today, so I tackled everything and wrapped up work on time. It feels awesome to get things done faster than usual and not have that sick feeling for once. In fact, I'm bursting with energy today. Oh, I see. Well, congratulations, I suppose. Must really stink to be a complete and utter failure all the time. So I'm thrilled to hear that you've finally decided to be what's somewhat productive for once in your sorry excuse for a life. Let me tell you, the timing couldn't be more perfect. What do you mean by perfect timing? Anyway, I'm about to start making dinner. Is there anything specific you'd like me to cook? I remember you really enjoy those California selfish tacos, don't you? Well, guess what? I've bought all the necessary ingredients so that all that's left is for me to transform them into a delicious dish that will satisfy the taste buds of our entire family. Oh, no need to worry, sweetheart. Looks like we won't be requiring your dinner services tonight. You can go ahead and indulge in a meal all by yourself. We've got other plans in place, you see. Why? Nobody bothered to inform me about it. Are you guys going out to eat? Just give me the name of the restaurant and I'll be there in a heartbeat. No, silly. We're on a trip to Europe. What? Are you saying this for real? Of course I'm dead serious. Your dad and your precious sister and I are going on a fabulous family trip. Just the three of us. Isn't it wonderful? You see... Working all the time just leaves you sick and exhausted. So it's crucial to take a break once in a while and enjoy the things we love, like traveling. You should try being more like us. Maybe getting out of the house more often will miraculously cure your illness and make you somewhat less worthless. A family trip? Without me? Why all of a sudden? You see, your dad scored two months of paid vacation, out of nowhere. And to top it off, our brilliant investments made us some extra cash. So we're off to Europe together. We're boarding the plane as we speak. Ready for what I can already tell will be the most incredible vacation of my entire existence. Oh, and guess what makes it even better? You're not coming along to ruin the fun. We're going to relish every single moment without you, my dear. Don't you worry about that. Wait, hold on a second. What about me? Why am I being left out of the family trip? Did you forget all that I exist? Or is this some intentional scheme to exclude me from the vacation? Ha ha ha. It's absolutely hilarious how utterly clueless you are. Why on earth would you even entertain the thought that you could accompany us? Huh? Why are you saying such hurtful things? You have no idea how much your words sting. I'm part of his family too, you know? Why am I being excluded? Why can I come with you? Let me spell it out for you. Since you clearly struggle with basic comprehension, you're constantly falling sick. It's like your body is made out of tissue paper. Too flimsy. If we were foolish enough to include you, you'd only slow us down and ruin the entire trip for everyone. But I really want to go to Europe with you guys. Honestly, it feels like I'm the odd one out in this family or something. This is so unfair to me, Mom. Don't be so selfish. 
I didn't raise you to become a self-centered, egotistical jerk. You're already such a pain to be around. Let us have the slightest chance of enjoying this trip without you. For once. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come across that way. I... I just feel a bit down and disappointed. Please, enjoy the trip without me. Well, as long as you finally understand, just make sure you do one thing right for once. Keep the house safe while we're away. Will you? I will. Don't worry. After all, taking care of the house is something I've been doing for quite a while now, so you can count on me to handle it. Oh, and here's a little something you need to grasp. Don't you dare try to bother us until we return from this trip. Understood? Wait, hold on a second. Why? What if there's an emergency? I mean, it's okay to reach out if it's something really important or urgent, right? Why on earth would you find yourself in a situation where you actually need to contact us? Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Just make sure you don't get yourself into any trouble. If something truly catastrophic happens, I'm sure someone else will be the one contacting us, not you. I simply cannot fathom the idea of you tarnishing our trip by reminding us of your pitiful existence. So, I'll say it once more. Don't you dare even think about contacting us until we return. Fine. I get it. Loud and clear. You don't want me to bother you until you're back from your precious trip. Is there anything else you'd like me to keep in mind while you're away? Hmm. I believe that covers it. Anyway, we're about to board the plane now. See you in a glorious two months. Make sure you keep the house spotless and secure, like the good little housekeeper you are. Oh. And don't dare waste any money on pointless things you don't need. I know. See you. Hi, Claire. How are you doing? My parents mentioned spotting your parents and your sister at the airport yesterday. So, I'm curious, why weren't you with them? Oh, hi, Dave. Just wanted to fill you in. My family went on a trip to Europe, but unfortunately, I couldn't join them. It looks like they'll be away for good two months. What the heck? Why are they going on such a long trip without you? I honestly don't understand. Well, you know how I tend to get sick quite frequently, right? They were concerned that if I went along and happened to fall ill during the trip, it would put the damper in their whole experience. That's why my mom insisted that I stay back and take care of the house while they're away. What? That's absolutely outrageous. I can't believe they would say something so heartless. Treating you like this is beyond unacceptable. It's all right. I have to work to keep me occupied. Realistically, I could have taken two months off from work to go on their trip anyway. And honestly, they do make a valid point. Given how frequently I get sick, it would indeed cast a shadow on everyone's enjoyment if I fell ill during the trip. So, it's probably for the best that I stay home. But still, it worries me that you have to stay home all by yourself. What if something happens to you? Who will be there to help? You're so sweet for caring about someone like me. What did I do to deserve you? Thank you for always being there for me. I love you. I told you not to talk about yourself like that anymore. Be nicer to the person I love. Oh, right. I'm sorry. It's become a habit to think of myself that way. But I'll try to change for you. Well, I understand that it's been challenging for you to deal with such a toxic family dynamic for over 20 years. It's not something that can be changed overnight, and I get that. But let's focus on taking small steps forward, so you can break free from the cycle of treating yourself as poorly as they do. You deserve so much better, and I'll be here to support you every step of the way. Thank you. You're so thoughtful. Oh, by the way, have you considered seeing a doctor about your recurring illness? 
I'm sure they could come up with some kind of treatment or solution to help manage it. What? I mean, think about it. Isn't this a good opportunity to see a doctor while your family is away? You know they've been against you seeking medical help ever since your illness started to surface, right? Now that they're not around to influence your decisions, it might be the perfect time to prioritize your health and get the necessary medical attention you deserve. Mm, I'm not quite sure, but I think my mom would be upset if I spent money on something she considers unnecessary. She specifically told me not to waste money. So if I end up using it for a doctor's appointment, she'll definitely gonna give me an earful. Hey, getting your health checked out is definitely not useless. It's important to take care of ourselves. Don't worry, I'll help you find a great doctor, and I'll be right there by your side during the appointment. Your well-being means the world to me, and it's something I truly value for our future together. Your future life? Look, I was going to propose to you in person, but I couldn't wait any longer to let you know that I want you to be with me for the rest of our lives, and I want you to be healthy so we can stay together as long as we can. Uh... Um, you don't want to marry me? Is it because of what I do for a living? No, that's not, that's not what I meant. It's just that my mind went blank for a moment. I want to marry you. Phew, I thought you were going to break up with me for a second there. I won't make you regret marrying me. Hey, Claire. You completely dropped the ball on cleaning the house, didn't you? It's mind-boggling that you can't even handle the one thing you're supposedly good at. Seriously, it's beyond belief. Hey! Yes, Mom? Have you already returned from your trip? Oh, right. It's already been two months. I completely forgot. Sorry. Oh. Look who's playing the fool again. Where the hell do you think you're gallivanting off to? Quit your aimless wandering and get your sorry ass back home immediately to clean this godforsaken house. I can't believe I came back from a fantastic trip only to find this place coated in layers of dust and filth. Now, stop wasting time and start scrubbing or you'll face consequences. Um, Mom, there's something I need to talk to you about. The truth is, I don't live there anymore. I left. Huh? You left? Are you mentally deranged that you've lost all sense of reality? Well, I'm perfectly normal, and I'm not going back to that house again. So, congratulations, you get to clean up the whole mess by yourself. I hope you have a grand old time, even though I know you'll be struggling like crazy. <laughs> Good luck with that. Well, well, well. Look who thinks they're too good for the homestead. What's this nonsense about not coming back? Do you honestly believe you can survive on your own? Especially considering how often you fall ill. Ha, huh. you must be kidding yourself. Who's going to take care of you when you're bedridden, huh? Yeah, about that. I went to see a doctor and got myself checked. What? Are you really that stupid? I specifically instructed you not to waste your cash on pointless junk like that. Keep living that lavish lifestyle while the rest of us exercise a little thing called financial responsibility. Don't come crying to me when you're broke and regretting every penny you waste. Please, listen to me. Apparently, the reason I get sick so often is because of an allergy to the house dust. An allergy to dust? Now that I think of it, I actually feel much better when I'm in my own room. It's a space I can keep clean and tidy, and it seems to have a positive effect on my well-being. However... I've noticed that my symptoms tend to worsen whenever I have to clean your room. Shut your mouth. You're making it sound like we're filthy. Watch your words when you are talking to your parents. At least show some respect to the people who brought you into this life and raised you. 
but it's true. You always let your room just accumulate dust until it's completely covered and then you tell me to get and come in and clean it for you. You can let me come in more often to clean it before the dust piles up. But for some reason, you don't want me in the room too often. But this explains why I felt sick every time I went to your room. But I'd be fine after a while. Stop wasting my time. I couldn't care less about your absurd sensitivity to dust. Slap on a mask or do whatever ridiculous measures you need to shield yourself. And for heaven's sake, get your lazy self back to the house and start cleaning. Chop, chop. I already told you, I'm not going back to the house. When will you accept reality and come to terms with it? What? Where are you right now? You insolent worm. Do you honestly believe you can simply bolt away from your own family like that? Who the hell do you think you are? No respect, no loyalty, just absolute selfishness. It's infuriating. My boyfriend proposed to me. You have a boyfriend? Yes, it's true. And I'm getting married. Are you serious? Did you hit your head somewhere? My soon-to-be husband? He always takes good care of me and he even took me to see a doctor to find out why I've been getting sick so often. He's such a great person. So you've decided to shack up with this guy, huh? How lovely. Do tell, genius. Why on earth did you make such a life-altering decision without even bothering to ask us? Your dear family, for our esteemed opinions. Clearly, your arrogance knows no bounds. Well, you told me not to contact you until you get back from the trip. That's why I'm telling you now. See? I just did what you told me to do. Don't give me excuses. We can't have you strutting down the aisle and tying the knot before your dear little sister gets her turn. Trust me. If you have the audacity to throw a wedding before her, you better believe forgiveness won't be on the menu. We'll be holding that grudge tighter than your grandma clings to her a secret cookie recipe. So do yourself a favor and put those wedding bells on hold, champ. Well, does she already have a fiancé? No, but we can't just let any old guy get close to her without vetting him. She's our daughter. We have to be careful with who we let her be with. She can't get married to someone who doesn't have money and doesn't treat her right. We're still looking for a nice, rich gentleman to marry her. Then, when will I get married? Who even said you have to get married? Let's be real here. The guy you're with is probably just another run-of-the-mill loser anyway. What kind of self-respecting man would willingly choose to be with someone like you? It's a joke, really. A laughable situation. Don't talk about him like that. He treats me so well that it made me realize how bad you treat me. You have no right to say anything like that about him. Watch your tone, Missy. I'm getting married regardless of what you say. Claire, don't be so selfish. We will not allow you to get married. Hi, Claire. Guess what? I've found out where you're throwing your wedding. Huh? What? What's even more exciting is that I'm in the changing room right now. But I didn't invite you. Why on earth are you here? I got in using the invitation you sent to your aunt. Aunt Rose's invitation letter? What are you talking about? You should have stayed home like a real sick person. I won't allow you to go through with this wedding, even if I have to destroy it myself. Mom, what are you going to do? Hey, Mom! Now it's all over for you.
you won't have a dress to wear. I tore it to pieces. Now you'll have to call the whole thing off. Ha <laughs> ha. What? My wedding dress? This is for getting married before your sister. But... There's no way you can get married now. You can't throw a wedding without a wedding dress. Ha <laughs> ha. But I'm already wearing the dress. What? I mean, our wedding just finished. And I'm about to take the dress off, actually. What? Where are you? Are you even in this wedding hall? Yes, of course. I came to the Madison Street Wedding Hall, just like it said on the invitation. But my wedding is in Greece. You're in Greece? I only invited his family and friends. I didn't invite anyone from my side. Then whose dress is this? Could it be that you're at one of Aunt Rosie's friend's wedding? What? Oh, no. Aunt Rosie told me her friend's son was getting married. I did take this invitation from her. Yeah. Yeah. Did you even bother to check the names? Oh, no. So the wedding dress that you tore into pieces? I wonder how much that cost. This is all your fault. Rosie's friend is making me pay, not only for the wedding dress, but the wedding itself. She cancelled the wedding after she found out what I did to her dress. Now she's making me pay for the wedding she cancelled. How am I supposed to pay for $50,000? It's your fault for throwing the wedding on the same day and making me confused with another wedding. And it's your fault for not listening to me about not getting married before your sister. It's all your damn fault. You should pay the $50,000. Stop talking to her like that. What kind of mother are you to use that tone when talking to your own flesh and blood? Have some decency. It's not nice to treat your own daughter like that. Show a little respect, will you? What? That's my wife you're talking to. You can't treat her like that. Who is this? My name is Dave Richard. Claire and I were married recently. Dave? Wait, that Dave Richards? Oh, so you've heard of my name. Why is the son of a mob boss married to my daughter? We went to the same high school and I fell in love with her the moment I saw her. Don't worry, I won't be following in my father's footsteps. I'm just a regular person who works in a construction firm. But your dad's still... Hey, let me talk for a minute. I'm sorry. If you want to talk about my father so much, would you like to meet him in person? No, I don't. I'm here to ask you a favor. Claire doesn't want to see you ever again. That's fine. Do whatever you want. Okay, good. I'm glad you were so quick to understand. Claire made it sound like you might be stupid or something. Don't you ever come near Claire. You hear me? Yes, of course. And another thing. What is it? About Claire's sister, Naomi. What about her? We're taking her with us. What? She's already here with us. Why is she there? I want to be with Claire. Mom and Dad only think of us as dolls that they can do whatever with. The only person to ever treat me like an actual person was Claire. I didn't even want to go to Europe without her. But Mom and Dad kept refusing to take her with us. Please let me stay with Claire. That's what Naomi told us. Did she really? It's disgusting how you two are trying to get her married to a 40-year-old man just because he's rich. She's still 19 years old. How did you find that out? 
Oh, don't underestimate me. I may not be in my father's business, but I have my ways to access whatever information I need. Naomi is beautiful and has many talents. She's exactly what that 40-year-old pig wants for a wife. He wants her daughter so bad that he'd do anything. Yes, he's told us that too. He was even stalking her. That's just because he loves her so much. But she's scared of him and came running to us for help. We can't let her go back to you insane people. No, wait. Please give us our Naomi back. What would we do without her? That pig was going to pay you to talk her into marrying him, right? You just want to use her for money. What? So your plan is to get him to pay for $50,000 you owe for the wedding you destroyed? By getting Naomi to marry someone she doesn't want? Claire thought your husband got two months paid vacation. But the truth is that he quit his job because you thought that pig was going to give you enough money to last you a lifetime. Ah, oh, you're such a pain. You filthy pigs. You're even worse than the pig lusting after your daughter. No, we just... Ugh. Promise me that you'll never come near Naomi either. I will. I'm glad this is going so easily. I thought it'd be much harder to get you to understand. I'm glad I don't have to convince you. Yes, sir. Are we done? Yes. I don't have anything more to say to you. Don't worry about your daughters. They'll have far better lives than yours. Have fun finding a way to pay for the wedding you ruined. I have to say, my parents always seem to favor my sister over me. But, here's the thing. I actually loved my sister more than they ever could, and we had a great relationship. The ironic twist in that our toxic parents ended up losing both of their daughters at once. The guy who wanted to marry my sister was livid with them for not keeping their end of the deal. He was so furious, but he demanded they return the deposit he had paid them when they agreed to force Naomi into that marriage. The problem was that money was used for their fancy trip to Europe, and they had nothing left to give back. So, they had to take out a loan to pay him off, not to mention dealing with the mess my mom created by ruining the marriage. It's safe to say they'll be in debt for years to come, in the end. They had to sell our old family house, but it wasn't in great shape, so they didn't get much for it. Now, my sister and I can finally live our lives without the constant worry of our toxic parents barging in. We're truly grateful for everything Dave has done for us. <laughs>